Hey, welcome back to another edition of Babyface Brew Review. My name is Alex. I'm your host guide, uh, walking you through uh, the latest one-hitter series release from Lagunitas today. This is their Dark Swan, which is a sour ale. Uh, this beer is uh, brand new to the one-hitter series. It clocks in at 8.5% alcohol by volume, 22.6 uh, IBUs, breaking it down to the fractions uh, there for the IBU content. Um, it is an American wild ale, and it's brewed with uh, petite Syrah grapes. So very interesting stuff from Lagunitas. Haven't really seen anything like this um, out of their camp. Uh, I have had this beer before, um, but I will reserve my comments and thoughts until uh, the review, always. Um, Beer Advocate, uh, getting into the accolades, gives it an 88, which puts in that very good category. And then the folks over at Untapped uh, from the 2017 reviews, because this was released on draft in 2016, now their uh, packaging is, as you can see, in 12, uh, 12 ounce six packs, uh, clocks in at 3.86 caps uh, from the thousand or so reviews over there. So some pretty good stuff going on with this beer. Very intrigued. I'm sure it'll be hopped up like always. Uh, real quick for you, the Julian Code on the sides, reading 154. Um, that's the 154th day of the year, so we're, today's date is June 18th, so we're right. Um, this is probably packaged a couple weeks ago, um, late May, so still very fresh. Other than that, I don't really have anything else to say about the beer. Let's, uh, let's crack the cap on the Dark Swan and see what's going on. Wow. Oh my god, look at that. That is very, very interesting. Just pouring that grape juice. Look at that. You can see there is some clarity to it, but it's just so dark in terms of the complexion. Um, a purple haze, like prune juice. Just a veil of pink foam. Very tightly compact bubbles. Soap suds you towards the top. If I swirl it around, let's see if we get any alcohol eggs or glass lacing. Yeah, we'll get a little bit of alcohol legs along with some glass lacing from Lagunitas. Always sticky in that department. Um, just very interesting. Some mild carbonation streaming off from the bottom. Soap sudsy towards the top. Very tightly compact in terms of carbonation. Let's get an aroma and a smell. Wow. Definitely these the sourness quality to it. Getting berry. Blackberry. Getting some citrus notes. Some citrus uh, peel. Some fresh cut grass, blackberry, some dried fruit, getting like black currants as well. Almost like a lemon lime type thing as well. A little bit of hoppiness, obviously Lagunitas brings the hops. Yeah, very nice, very complex, interesting smell on um, this dark swan. Let's, uh, let's dive into to the taste. Cheers, prost. You know, up front, I'm going to say it's more tangy than sour. It's just like a tang bomb. Um, it's crazy. It's juicy. There's like hard candy quality to it, like a Jolly Rancher. Um, goodness, very interesting. Middle of the mouth, I get more of this dark fruit, blackberry, currants, I get some plum, grape, pomegranate, um, gooseberry. More in the aroma too. Get this lemon lime quality on the back end. Uh, finish is very bitter, like fruit skins. Uh, maybe even like a touch of oak from that Syrah. Really, really interesting, wow. My goodness, that is nice glass lacing too as we drink down to a very, very interesting. Holy smokes. Um, wow. Um, getting the aroma, or excuse me, the getting into the mouthfeel. It's creamy. Carbonation's nice, kind of medium. Uh, active carbonation there. It's bright. Uh, it's got a very dry, kind of bitter, tangy finish to this. Um, nothing really coating the palate. Very drinkable. Um, there is quite a tangy quality to it up front as, as well as that sourness, but uh, it's something that 
is overwhelming, but it will surprise you a little bit. Um, as for a grade on this beer, it's interesting. It really is. It's got a lot of different things going on. I like what Lagunitas has done, kind of something different. Obviously, they're still maintaining that level of uh, hopping to it. There is some hoppiness. There's some citrus and grassy earth qualities to this beer. Um, and for that reason, I, I, I do like what they've done here. So I'm going to go right around an 89. I think it's B plus, A minus beer. I think 89 is, is where I put it. But uh, that's not what matters. What matters is what you guys and gals think. So you can let me know by leaving that all in the comment section below. Let's go back and forth here uh, in, in regards to the jargon. Uh, please let me know what you think of the Dark Swan. Did you love? Did you hate it? Leave it all below. And like always, appreciate every each and one of you uh, guys and gals. I say it every time. So um, please like and, and subscribe. And until next time, cheers. Thanks again for stopping by Babyface Brew Review.